Right guys, this is how you install the dampeners in a Tron 7 uh, head. So you have the head block, okay? First thing is you get this uh, uh, dial ring uh, pivot uh, in the middle off, because it, it requires not to have that. You cannot have pivoting in the center. So you put um, uh, grease on the inside and also on the on the dampeners and you simply go like this you know move it around like that a little bit and then it comes in this one does not require any kind of uh rounding of the edges or anything like that because it already has uh a bevel and uh, so same here you know uh, grease go in and wiggle it and then it comes in pretty tight you know perfect so it will appear to be a rigid um, head, but it's actually a advanced uh, system. So, uh, so now we have the dampeners mounted, okay? And next thing is you want to put the, uh, in the case of the Tron 7, the, spindle uses spacers, the stock spacers. So you have to use the stock spacers, you know, in like this, which is not the case with the Kraken and a few other ones. So you have to look at the back of the bag and tell you if your helicopter requires spacers or not. You know, so it's actually depending on the helicopter. Okay, and um, so, Next thing that you want to do is um, put some, let me, I'm looking for some Loctite, blue Loctite, okay. Loctite on the, on the screws are going in. Okay, a little bit of Loctite. In the case of the Tron 7, the uh, thread is a very fine thread, so that means that it will be able to handle um, the uh, the screw in place even under with with a with a blue lock tie. You don't need red lock tie for uh, you know fine threads. I don't know if you guys know about that. So that's it there, and I'm gonna go with that on the wing. Okay, later we will go ahead and, all right, so that's in there. Now you pull the other side to make sure that you get the, um, that one, the other side end, and you pull this one using this. Okay, so now we're all the way in, okay. Okay, let me put some, uh, grease on the on the, the components okay so to do that normally do that with this put some grease using um, a syringe filled with grease Okay, and also on here. Yeah, that's plenty. Put this one on top. Okay, and goes in. It's all of the same thing. Place like this, you go inside. Okay. Okay. So we got that there. And let's put it on this one.
okie dokie. Uh, let's put this pressure here a little bit. And then we can move that bit in there. Okay. Green and some blue look tight. Where's that? Here. We look tight on that uh, screw a little bit. Oops. Yeah, that's a lot. It's too much for the screw. Okay, I'll come back here and put it where it goes. Okay. Alrighty. I'm in the way. Now, this, uh, as you know, as you probably noticed, they have a front facing um o-ring that goes into the the block the head block so it will have output pressure and you know going outside pushing that so there's a little bit of a preloading on the on the um that, that, that the dampers do on the, the head so it will not com be completely freely, okay? okay? So I'm going to tighten it now. Okay, it's tightened. And once it's tightened, you can see it is uh, free um, moving, you know, but it will not hold, it will not fall by by the uh, own weight, you know? So don't worry about that, that's exactly where it's supposed to work, okay? so. That's the, the way to install it. So that's, notice that there is no middle uh, there in um, pivot center, okay? So that's the way, that's the way you install the dampeners on a front seven.